So the Red River rivalry is happening this week, or as we at PWTV like to say, the Red River shootout. Oklahoma and Texas and Dallas at AT and T Stadium. Jordan, I'll let you go ahead, man. What are your What are your initial thoughts going into this game? All right. First off, uh, both Texas and Oklahoma enter this game at I believe five and zero. Oh, the first time that both teams have been undefeated entering this game since two thousand eleven, if I remember right. Um, and for this game, obviously, you know, it's a huge game, right? Oklahoma, Texas, this is the last time they'll meet as Big 12 rivals before both enter the SEC next year. Um, this is a massive game, a game that we could see twice. Of course, we know the Big 12 does not have divisions, so they take the two best um, teams with the um, conference record and have them play each other in the Big 12 championship game. Um, so this is obviously a game we could see twice. What I'm looking at is a quarterback matchup in this game. Quinn Ewers for Texas against Dylan Gabriel for Oklahoma. Which quarterback has a better day? Uh, Quinn Ewers, it looks like, has a better wide receiver quarter to throw to, but we will see what happens. And then the Oklahoma defense, last year it's no secret that Oklahoma defense was not, uh, a little short of a disaster. They've been playing much better this year, so it'll be interesting to see how much better they will play. Texas won this game last year 49 and nothing. Um, I do not think we'll see a 49 nothing game this time. Uh, Evan, I'll let you uh, say your thoughts. So, like you said, they're both 5-0. and That's pretty impressive. Oklahoma's beaten the teams they needed to beat. They had a little bit of a close scare versus Cincinnati. Obviously, Texas this year, they beat um, Alabama on the road, and then they've been hot ever since, beating, a, beating up on a pretty good Kansas team last week. I think you look at, like what Jordan said, the quarterbacks. You got Dylan Gabriel. You got Quinn Ewers. Um, have had very good seasons. You know, Jonathan Brooks, the Texas running back, Averaging over 100 yards a game. He has five touchdowns on the year. Uh, I love Texas. I love Oklahoma's defense for a Big 12 defense. They're a very, they're a pretty decent defensive team this year if you watch them. I do not love the Oklahoma offense. I think they have good but not great players. I think that's been shown throughout the season. I think uh, when they're facing a little more of an up-to-par team, again, even though Cincinnati is down this year, uh, they were struggling on offense, getting the ball moving. I think um, I'll save my prediction for later, but I, I like Texas. They're an all-around team. This has a little bit of trap game feeling to it. Obviously, it's a neutral site game. Uh, but to me, just Texas is just a straight a better team, and it's actually because I don't trust the Oklahoma offense. Yeah, so a couple of things I want to say on a couple of things I want to say on this game. I love Texas's um running back call. I love Jonathan Brooks. I love their wide receiver call. Quinn Yellows is a great quarterback. Um, Dylan Gabriel is a great quarterback as well, coming over from UC. <laughs> Good defensive puppy attack. I mean, yeah, that, that might be more blitz than Oklahoma gets all game long, but we'll we'll have to see. But <laughs> the puppy attack, oh yeah, yeah. Um, no, but like I was saying, Dylan Gabriel, the quarterback for Oklahoma, coming over from UCF. I think Dylan Gabriel is a good quarterback. I just do not believe in Oklahoma's wide receivers. Um, so I think Texas, and not to mention Texas, also went on the road in week two. She touched the loser and won by 10, and they just beat Kansas by 26 last week. So, Texas will take this one. I believe it will be 31 14 Texas. Jordan? Okay, so I I like that Jacob um, mentioned that Texas had already faced Alabama this year. I forgot to mention that. Um, so, a big game atmosphere is not a um, not a foreign, uh, foreign place to these Texas uh, student athletes this year. Um, but I do believe Texas wins this game. I think the running backs are the different. Uh, give me the Longhorns to win this game 38-28. Evan? Texas 37-20. to 20. That's my prediction. 